All right, thanks, Andy. So the ice that started last night and the snow today really caused some dangerous conditions outside today for some people here in western New York. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley is live in downtown Buffalo tonight. Ed. Well, Keith and Ashley, it has been such a mild winter so Don't far that a lot day. of people were wondering if the snow and ice would ever come this year. Well, you can see behind me, it has come, and Mother Nature is reminding all of western New York just how challenging it can be, especially when it comes to winter driving. This is really the first snow we had really all year. Winter is finally here. Some schools closed, but many people still had to get to work, and that meant getting a workout trying to clear off ice. Snow blowers that have been sitting idle were finally put to use. Yeah, well, this is like only the second time we used it this year. So once in November, I think, and now. Callahan Towing in the Orleans County town of Holly sent us pictures showing us the challenging winter conditions. Um, a lot of cars sliding off into the ditch, driving a little too fast for the conditions. Sarah Callahan was bumped in the past by a vehicle while working a tow. She's asking drivers to please slow down on slippery roads. We're putting ourselves out there. We don't really have the choice of our, our working conditions. It could be your son out there working. It could be your daughter working. It could be your father, your brother. Daniel Gerbeck tows vehicles for the AAA of Western and Central New York. He said the big problems in winter are speeding, tailgating, and drivers with badly worn out tires. You're going to end up, uh, unfortunately, off in a ditch in the 290 or the 4, 400 or the 219. The move over law requires drivers to give tow truck operators room to work safely, especially in bad weather. The statistics actually show once every six days a tow truck driver is killed from somebody not moving over. While most people obey the law, Gerbeck said he has had close calls from distracted drivers and those who just don't care. You can see them, you can actually make eye contact with them even though they're going 60, 70 miles an hour next to you, you can still see them and they're looking right at you. Across the state, it was a busy day for tow trucks. Seven but local AAA dispatchers are using new technology called Gen 2. The pilot program is only two weeks old. Using weather forecast and historical data for service calls, the computer helps better position tow trucks to reduce wait times. The dispatcher will see three hours out from now, I need to be paying attention to this area, so I need to start managing my resources now. One of the big complaints we hear from tow truck operators and plow drivers is there are too many cars on the roads during big snowstorms. And so there's a reminder going out to all of you that if conditions are bad and you don't need to go out, please stay home. Live in downtown Buffalo, Ed Riley 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Ed. The Erie County Sheriff's Office is investigating if when